the F flow over here. Yes, he figured it out. He figured it out. No, that's the fox. Hello, friends. This is Growl. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to do the Mists of Tyrannus Scythe matching game. This is something that I've noticed a lot of pugs have been struggling with, to say the least. And it's a good idea, even if just one person knows how to do this game, it can speed up the dungeon run a lot. I'm going to explain how the game works in the basics, and then I'm going to explain my trick for how I do it. I think it is faster and easier to use in normal runs. So for this video, I'm going to use this site that I found called mythictrap.com, or specifically the little matching game on there. I found this very useful for practicing and I can use this to explain how it works as well. So in each room, there's going to be four different symbols and each symbol can have three attributes. There's only two ways the attributes can go. So one attribute is leaf or flower. One attribute is empty or filled. And the other attribute is circled or not circled. And in each set of four symbols, two of the attributes will be the same and two different ones and one of the attribute will be different from the other three so in this example we have two flowers and two leaves two circled and two uncircled however three are empty and one is filled that means the one the odd one out is the way to go and we'll go through a couple examples here we have two filled in and two empty, two circles and two not circles, but we have three leaf and one flower. So that means the flower is the way to go. One more, so we have two circled, two uncircled. We have two leaves and two flowers, and we have three empty and one filled in. So that means the filled in one is the way to go. And last example. We have two flowers, two leaves, two circles, two empty, and we have three filled and one of them that is not filled. So that means this one is the way to go. And as you can see, once you understand the way it works, it's pretty simple and you can navigate through it quickly. However, it's a little bit easier in this situation than in game. In this situation, you can see all of the symbols clearly, but in game, Sometimes you have to go by each symbol one by one and do them all yourself because your team is zoo animals. So I found a better method that works based off of combinatorics to eliminate possible solutions and help you discover which one is the right way to go. So I already explained how there's three attributes. What the goal is to find two different symbols that have two attributes in common. And if that is the case, you know that both of those two are safe and that is not the way to go. Also, you know that the correct way to go is the opposite of those two attributes. So we'll use this one as an example. Here we have these first two have the same two attributes. They are both flowers and they both have no circle. So that means the correct path is not a flower and it has a circle. So this is the correct path. Now on this one. So here we have an empty leaf with a circle and an empty leaf without a circle. That means the correct path is a filled in flower because both of these are empty and both of these are leaves. So this is the correct path. And one more time. So here we have an empty leaf with no circle and an empty flower with no circle. That means the answer is a filled in symbol with a circle, which is this one. So this might seem a bit unnecessary when you can see them all laid out like this to use this trick. However, it's very, very useful when you're in game. So now that you understand how it works, let's look over to, if I can unfull, unfull screen this, let's go over to a VOD of a miss run that I did yesterday. So this was in a pug. They seemed a little bit confused about the game. One thing to note is that you can always walk where the boss goes. When you first go into this room, you can see which direction the boss is going and just follow the boss. You don't really need to play the game in the first room. However, I was molding over the fact that I didn't get the trinket that I wanted, and so I'm a bit late. Okay, so now this is going to be the situation of most of your groups. Your team is fighting the mobs, and you have to figure out the game. 
So the first one is a filled in flower, then an empty leaf, then an empty flower with a circle, then a filled in leaf. So our two that we have in common are the first one and the last one, the filled in flower and the filled in leaf. That means the correct path is empty and has a circle because both of those two things are filled in with no circle. So since this is empty with a circle, we know this is the correct path. And often you can use the shortcut to not even have to look at all the different symbols. So let's use this one. Here we have a filled in flower with a circle. Here we have an empty flower. Here we have a filled in leaf with a circle. And now we actually already know the correct path because the first one was a filled in flower with a circle. And this one is a filled in leaf with a circle. So we know that the correct path is empty and does not have a circle because we found two of them that share a common attribute. And maybe I was distracted or talking to my stream chat because I walk over here, but it is in fact the one that we already found. And now hopefully you can see why this is easier in runs because you don't really have to think too much about what's going on. You just sort of remember where, where each ones are. And as soon as you find two that are in common, then you know which one to look for. Speaking of remembering, go back. Okay. So we have an empty leaf with a circle and I really want to hit this dragon right now, but usually in heroics, you should just go fast. Okay. So we have empty leaf with circle empty flower, full leaf with circle, and we've already found the correct path. So we have found two leaves with circles. That means the correct path is going to be a flower with no circle. And now you see I'm already running back to this one because I know that this is the correct path. I don't even need to go to the fourth uh, statue or whatever because I already know this is it. Okay, so I think there's six rooms total. I think my game is my team is a little bit mystified that I knew that it was this way without even going over there, kind of <laughs> waiting for them to come over. <laughs> okay, so the first one we have here is leaf with no circle, and kind of waiting on my team here. I try to let them go and not aggro stuff. Okay, so we have leaf with no circle, empty leaf with no circle, empty flower with with a circle and a filled in leaf. So we've already found the solution. We have an empty leaf and we have a full leaf, so we know it's the circled flower, which was the second one that we one that we just looked at. Hopefully now you get the idea of what I mean when I say look for two attributes that are similar because as soon as you find it, you know what to look for. Here it looks like I get a little bit excited. Pull some mobs. Okay, so we have a full flower with a circle. Doing a bit of healing a full flower with no circle but we've are we already know what to look for so we found a full flower with a circle and a full flower without a circle so we know the solution is going to be an empty leaf once we get to it and this is it killing some stuff killing some stuff okay i think there should only be one more okay now we have empty flower we're going around here on our little little doggy legs. Okay, so we found empty flower and we found empty flower with a circle. So we already know the correct path is going to be a full leaf because we found two. The first two that we found are two with similar attributes. And there's our filled in leaf, so we know this is the way. Here we're not interrupting the cast, which is unfortunate. Skip ahead. We don't actually care about gameplay. We're just trying to play kindergarten matching games here. Great. So that's it. That is all the way through the maze. I thought this video would be helpful for people who are not so sure about how the game works. I wanted to explain how the game works as well as the trick that I use for finding the path quickly because I get asked on stream a lot like, hey, you didn't even look at the fourth one. How do you know which one it was? And it's like, well, you don't need a week or anything. I'm sure there might be a week or that comes out, but nothing yet. And to be honest, I kind of have fun doing this while I'm going through the maze anyway. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like, subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with more of a full on guide for this dungeon eventually very soon. But I wanted to come out with this first because the dungeon guide is still in the works and I thought this would help a lot of people. So thanks again and happy keying.